Here I have the DTF film. On one side you have a matte finish. On the other side you have a glossy finish. I'm going to come right back and show you how you have to rig it in order to put it in your printer. Okay, I'm back. I have my painter's tape and I have the film. On the glossy side, to make sure that it can fit through the printer and read as a regular piece of paper, you're going to take your tape, make sure you apply it across the top part, just like that so that when it goes in your printer, it will read. Again, make sure it's on the glossy side. Okay, our print came out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tape off of it. You gotta be very careful that you don't touch the ink. This is sublimation ink. And from there, I'm gonna put it straight down in my bin I have in front of me. My DTF powder that I have, I'm going to pour it generously on top of it. You have to be careful. You're normally supposed to have gloves on with this. And I'm going to take and pour it on it. Like that. Next, you're going to take your time and pick it up, not to touch it. And I'm going to take and go all around the print, making sure it gets all on the print. And I'm going to go back again, making sure I get all of the letters. Now, when it's fully coated, it will look like this with all of the powder on top of it. Okay, next we're going to put it under the heat press to make sure that it cures. I have it at 320 for 25 minutes. You don't want to put the heat press down on it. So that's why I'm using my smaller one, my swing away. And I'm going to put it right over top and let it hover over top of it. And I'm going to do this for 25 seconds to see if it is cured enough. When it is fully cured, it will have like a shiny, glossy look. And you will see no powder substance. I'm going to come right back and press it on my shirt. Okay, everyone, before we go any further, I want to make sure I lint roll this. Make sure my neck is down, my arms are straight. I'm going to take the moisture out real quick. Okay, now we're going to apply our DTF film. Make sure you, that you don't touch the ink. And you're going to turn it face down. I'm going to put it right up in the middle. We're going to cover it. And we're going to go for 20 seconds. And I have this at 323. Okay, we're going to take our Teflon sheet off. You're supposed to let it cool a little bit before you take it off. So what I'm going to do is going to take my towel and rub across it to cool it off.
Okay. And let's see what we got. Take my time to pull it off. Okay. Oh, I like this. I like this. This came out good. Okay, I'm going to take and pull my neck back up again. Give it a final press. And I come back with the picture to it. Okay, I'm back. I have my second print, which I wanted to try the inkjet and see how that will go because I know a lot of people have been talking about you can do it also with inkjet. So I have printed this one on my inkjet, and I'm going to put the powder back on this one like I did the first one. Make sure I coat it. And I'm going to take and pick up this end. Make sure I don't touch it. I'm going to rock it around. And go side to side. Side to side. Make sure I coat it. Okay. Now. This one is completely coated, as you can see. I'm going to take and cure this one for 320 at maybe about 10 to 15 minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back with the second one. This one I put in the inkjet. I put the powder over it, and I cured it for like 25 seconds. I'm going to put it on my shirt. Find the center. I'm going to put the Teflon sheet over it. And we're going to do this for 20 seconds, and I'll be back. Okay, it's been 20 seconds. Let it cool off for a few. Let me take something and cool it off a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take and peel it off. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we get the same result. I use the darker shirt. I know they say that you're not supposed to use a dark shirt for this DT hat, but I wanted to try a darker shirt. And came out pretty good. Came out pretty good. Came out pretty good. Not too bad. It's up here to it. Feels the same way the other one felt. I'm going to give it a second press and come back and show both of them to you. Okay, I'm back with both of the shirts. This one was done by Sublimation with the DTF hack. And I really like this one. It came out with a lot of vibrant colors to it. It came out real bright. And when you feel it, it feels nice and soft. Now, this one over here is the one I did with the inkjet printer. And I like the way it feels, but the color was not dark enough. I should have probably went with a white one instead of using gray. But I wanted to try it on a darker color. Not too bad, but it would have been a whole lot better had I used white. Well, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much. Thank you for all my subscribers, all the people that click like. And I appreciate you. Until next time, be safe in these YouTube streets.